Alright, so I have a full playlist on my channel on how to clean a Biazi B10 boiler in a Riello burner. And the process I go through in those videos is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other oil-fired boilers and furnaces. Uh, but it was brought to my attention by one viewer that I never showed how to bleed the air out of the lines after that process. So I've just done a full cleaning on my boiler, replaced the nozzle and the tank filter. Uh, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how to bleed the line uh, when you perform maintenance like this, or if you run out of fuel, for example, or you freeze up sometimes in the winter time. Uh, so what we're going to do today is simply bleed the air out of the line and get this get this uh, boiler to fire up, okay? All right, so first let me say that the process we go through here is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other oil-fired burners. It could be a Miller hot air furnace. It could be a Riello like this. Uh, it could be a Beckett burner. Okay, we're going to look for a reset switch that's lit up. Now, you could just try to push that and push that and push that, uh, but if there's a lot of air in your line and you're trying to pull that fuel up to the burner, it's probably not going to work, okay? This burner has three screws that we need to loosen, and they've already been loosened on mine because I just really put it back together. Um, and that's going to let me slip this cover off. So let me set the camera down. Okay, on this Riello with the three screws loosened, I can just slip this cover off. Okay. What we're going to look for is a bleeder valve that looks like this. It usually has like a little nipple on it because you could put a, a hose or a tube on there. I'm just going to use one of these sugar containers because they have a wide opening, got a little grip on it, and uh, also they come with a cover. So they're really handy for this type of thing, okay? I'm using a 7 16 inch box end wrench, okay? First thing I need to do is turn my fuel on here because I had it off. Okay, with our valve open, I'm just going to put my box and wrench on here, and we're going to crack the valve, okay? Then we're going to hit the reset button here. I'm going to try to show you. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is close that. Now, it may take a couple of times for you to get a solid stream. But I think we got it here with the first time. Okay, we're just gonna check the leaks here real quick because I did have this pump cover off. I think we're good. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm just going to slip the uh, burner cover back on, which will quiet this down a lot. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did find it helpful, give me that thumbs up. And if you want to check out the other videos, I've got a link to the uh, entire playlist on cleaning your Spinozzi boiler right here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.